Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Parker, Arizona. What am I doing here? Well, I'm waiting for the van bill to start. It's right up the road about four miles. And uh, just one more day and we'll be there. I'm getting really excited about it. But I tell you what, we uh, people are driving by to go to the van bill. <laughs> and they're pulling in here and they're parking with us. Let me show you around just a little bit. So they're, they're asking everyone not to go to the van build quite yet. Uh, they're not quite ready for all the RVs yet. So this area here, that was I was the first one here. Well, me and uh, me and uh, Randy, but he went on up to the van build to work. You can't even see hardly the rig, all the rigs here. They're all behind one another. We got a bunch. So I've been talking to David at Gone Boondocking. If you may remember, he's the guy that put the mini split on the outside of his Class C. And that kind of uh, influenced me to uh, do what I've done with Miss Gypsy. I've got the, the back rack built so I could put mine on. But uh, we're not talking about the mini split today. I got something else you gotta see. David's from Tennessee. He's come out here with his Jeep and his 2015 Sunseeker Forest River RV. He's got his mini split right here, uh, the Midea. I think this is a 24 sear. He's running it off of uh, 1500 watts, give or take, of solar and six Battleborn lithium batteries. And he has 24 hour conditioned air. Whether he needs hot or cold, he's got it. But uh, I just don't think people appreciate just how quiet this is. And this is what's going to be on the back of Miss Gypsy soon. He's got his uh, Wi-Fi antenna that's directional here. But uh, the reason we're here today, David's invented something. And I'm going to uh, bring him over here and introduce him to you. He's got an invention here that's going to change uh, the Nomad community forever. Um, if you're... If you've ever been camping and you realize just how precious water is, um, you know, you'll go two or three days without a shower. And when you take a shower, you're taking one of those Navy showers. You know, you wet everything, cut the water off, lather up everything real good, take the water, get the soap off and cut it off right quick. It's number one, most RVs, 35 to 60 gallons is about all the fresh water you can carry. And not only that, most gray water tanks are only 30 gallons. So the longer you can make your water last, the longer you can stay out boondocking. Uh, so let me, let me introduce you here to David and let him tell you, tell us about his, I think he calls it an hour shower. All right, well, here's my new friend. This is David. Hey, YouTube. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to You're very welcome. show us your invention here. You're very welcome. Uh, David spent his life around computers and robotics, and, mm -hmm. and he's an, an inventor of sorts, a uh, problem solver. Yeah. And uh, when you started camping, you saw that uh, us RVers out here, we had a, a real problem and a real need. Mm -hmm. Sure did. You, yeah, uh, and the need seemed to be in several different areas, and wa water is one of them. Um, heating and air conditioning and being able to stay at a constant temperature is another one. Uh, we have uh, more and more older folks coming out here and they have a need for CPAP machines, that, you know, so they're requiring solar and, and consistent power. They have a need to be able to have a regulated temperature all the time. You know, they have, uh, of course, they have to have showers every day. You know, sure. And, and to remove, make sure that germs don't become a health issue for them. And the older we get, the more those con become uh, uh, concerns for us. And so that's where we got, that's where I'm at here, is I've come up with something called an hour shower. And now 
this has become the second generation or our shower 2.0 if you want. So tell us a little bit about what you've done here, David. Well, what I've done is, uh, you've, if you know anything about the hour shower, basically it's a recirculating uh, shower uh, that is able to remove soap from the water and remove the, uh, the dirt and the contaminants from the water as well. We do that by having a, a 72 micron pre-filter uh, before the water goes into the pump. And then after the pump, then we have a 20 micron uh, main filter. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's great, David, but I think what's most impressive is having hot water shower yeah. as long as you want, yeah. as long as you got propane. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take a shower as long as you want in what, a gallon of water? Uh, half a gallon of water. Half a gallon. Uh, and it's not just propane. Any liquid heat source can heat the hour shower. You give me, can, give you, me for instances. Uh, you can uh, put two T's into your heater core of your of your van or your RV and and tee in that water into the hour shower and that's your heat source you with, know, with the engine able, running with the well, well even with the engine stopped it's this has its own recirculating pump and so if your engine is already heated up and your 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 radiator is heated up and the coolant is heated up you have enough thermal mass to be able to take a very long shower before that heat that engine cools down so most engines run at a temperature of about 200 degrees, yes. give or take. Yes. And even when you cut the engine off, it takes a long time for that engine to cool down. Exactly. And not, a, not just an engine, you could also uh, use uh, solar uh, hot water. You could uh, use a black hose, fill it with uh, antifreeze, coil it up on the ground, and put it into the uh, hot and cold um, you know, uh, uh, inputs in, in, of the uh, hour shower and recirculate that water and let the sun heat the hour shower. So what you're telling me, this heat exchanger is completely separate system than the shower water. Exactly. So that, it has two compartments? Ne neither one ever becomes, in, ne the water from one never is introduced into the other. So you can use any heated uh, uh, li liquid uh, to, to uh, heat you know, one side of the uh, heat exchanger and then on the opposite side of the heat exchanger then that is where the your shower water is recirculated through and that's how that's the secret of having a unlimited amount of hot water shower and the really neat thing about that is that it you're not just uh, de dependent upon one particular heat source. You can have several heat sources Pro and use the one that's available at the time. Propane, propane engine heat, yes. or solar, the, the, yes. lots uh, of options. Uh, you can use a rocket stove uh, and coil up a copper liner on a rocket stove and circulate the water through a rocket stove and use a, a stove or a fire, just a fire pit and do the same thing. Water, to do the same thing. Okay, well here it is. Without further ado, he's built a, a mock shower here with a tripod and a little bitty shower curtain. And looks like a, that's, that, that's for your engine oil, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> I just uh, had a round pan and it looked like it would just be the perfect uh, 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 solution to be able to have a, a small demo unit. My right. big concern with somebody would be able to run over here and jump into the hour shower. I know I would. You wouldn't be able to get me out. <laughs> so I, I did this. So at the very least, uh, all they're going to get is their feet wet. So. Now, the first okay. thing I'm noticing here, you've got hot and cold water coming out. Where, is, where are you heating your water with this yeah. today? Th these go to uh, two T's on both sides of my propane hot water heater. And so the, this is the, the red is my, uh, the, hot, the hot side of the propane hot water mm -hmm. heater and the blue is the cool side. So on the back of your propane hot water heater, the, the higher one is the, is the hot, the lower one is the cold. And you just tee into those two lines and then I bring those lines over here so I can have, show this a, a demo, demo outside. How do you do it inside the shower? It's, a, it's the same way. I, uh, I can use the hot and cold water that's already in the shower, okay. or I can also tee directly into the, uh, uh, the hot water heater. I chose to tee into the hot water heater. That way, the cold water never heats up 
and, you know, where it would return back to the hot water heater and it would become warm. Okay. All right, so I know where we're getting the heat source now. Mm -hmm. How does the system work itself? Okay, the bottom of this box is open and there is a sump that, that is about an eighth of an inch above the uh, bottom of the shower basin or in this case, uh, my, little, my little round bucket here. And that sump then sucks up the uh, water out of the shower basin through the pump, through a water filter, uh, through the heat exchanger, and then out uh, to the uh, shower head here. Okay. On the other side, then the heat, the heat, uh, heated water goes into the heat exchanger here. Okay, goes through another pump and then back out to the heat exchanger to return back to the hot water he heater. And in the interim, this this one knob is called a thermostatic mixing valve. And this is what regulates the temperature within two tenths of one degree Fahrenheit. How is all this powered? Is it powered 12 volt? Yes. Yeah, uh, this is a just standard 12 volt uh, RV pumps that are inside the, the box here. And they're powered just on 12 volts. And so um, you don't have to have your inverter on or anything like that. Yeah. So David this is the guy, you see all these cars that are being welded on the assembly line that are being flipped over and TIG welded and TAC welded and all that. Yeah. This is the guy that designs the programs and makes all that work. Yes. Yeah, so, I, I, I program robots. So this was a pretty simple for you to do here. Yeah, that's not so bad. Uh, now this is where the 12 volt uh, uh, positive and negative go in and I, and I just put a plug on it so I can okay. move it around. So it, you're not going to get shocked or hurt with 12 volt? No sir. No, so the water level inside never goes over, you know, uh, less than a half an inch. That's all so the that's water in the bottom, and the pumps and the, and the electrical uh, are higher. Are, are much higher. They're up in here. Yeah. So the sump pump can work in a half inch of water. So you could you could plug up the floor, your drain of your shower. Yes, sir. Cover it with something, yes, and sir. this would this would pick up in and a half this inch. Picks up, uh, yeah, an eighth of an inch of water and wow. recirculates that. But uh, the water would overflow out of your sour basin before it could ever touch any uh, electrical lines inside, so it's entirely safe. All right, all right, and if it did, it might damage the pump, but 12 volts not gonna hurt a person. Oh, no, it won't even damage the pump. Okay. Uh, yeah, these are these are uh, sea land marine grade pumps and, and water will not damage the pump at all. Uh, David, are you, uh, are you gonna sell the plans for these machines? Are you gonna build and sell these? I'm gonna <clears> just, uh, give the plans to anybody who wants to uh, build one of their own. If they can't build one, uh, if it's too complicated for them, I am considering um, building them myself and just selling them. Uh, uh, of course, I would need to make a little bit of money on it sure. in order you know, to well, take so me away from society. nature. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yes, but... Uh, Your time is very valuable. Yeah, yeah it's uh, much more important to be in nature than it is to, to, to be working. Uh, I just turned down a job from um, from a very high paying company uh, last week because I would rather do this. But to help people, I would be I would be willing to uh, build these for people who can't build them themselves. And if somebody wanted to see more about this, you have your tell everybody your YouTube channel again. It's Gone Boondocking, uh, two words, uh, and uh, the video of this and the video of the original hour shower. Uh, will be already be up there and not to mention the mini split yes the okay. mini split and my solar system uh the water filter system that we have inside uh, there you know but uh, i'm only concentrating on how to make the people's lives more comfortable and to be able to stay out longer you know uh, without having to return and, and pay a lot of money okay to be able to continue this lifestyle awesome okay dave show us how it works Okay, well, it's got a, a, a switch on the side here. You can flip it up or down, and it'll turn it on, and it starts up that quickly, and feel that it's already hot. Oh, wow. It takes a couple of seconds. Mm -hmm. I had a Coleman hot water heater that was kind of similar to this, but yeah. it, it didn't recirculate the water from the pan. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, as you can tell, this is a, a very invigorating shower. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a... Very, very strong. If someone, if someone wanted to build this, they're looking at about, uh, if they built it themselves, 300 uh, About $400 in parts. In uh, parts. Unfortunately, I've tried to make that cheaper, 
Let me go and turn that off so you can hear better. I've tried to make that cheaper, uh, but um, right now that's about as close as we can get. Uh, if I build them myself, it, you know, I might be able to get some parts cheaper and be able to... Buying in bulk. Yeah, you know, by buying in bulk, but I've already... A lot of parts I already had on hand, and I just simply uh, knew what I paid for them at the time, and it's right at exactly $400 if somebody else bought it. This now, this is very, very interesting. I've never seen anything exactly like that. Uh, gosh, this is something that could, once you've got it, it would last for many years, wouldn't it? Most certainly. There are no moving parts on this except the pumps, and the pumps have a four-year warranty. Okay. Uh, and then the the other only other mo moving part is just this uh, thermostatic mixing valve, which very little movement. And so I would uh, I, I would imagine this at uh, 20 years, 25 years before you'd even have to change the pumps out. It is normal to buy an RV that's a 20-year-old RV and still have the existing pump. original pump still in it and still yeah. working. That's true. Well, what, well, tell me, what are some common questions? That you get about this that, that people ask maybe about the, the filters how long how do you get the soap out of the water um, you can keep reusing the water yeah. what, what are some common questions well there's those are the top three right there uh, the, the uses for the water after you do it uh, I would not suggest continuing using the same half gallon of water over and over mm -hmm. but the, the water is uh, is filtered and you can easily use this to uh, give your dog a bath, flush your toilet, flush your toilet, uh, wash your rig. You know, there's so there's plenty of other uses for the water. And because you use biodegradable soap, it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt it at all to use it just to put out a, put out your fire at night. That's uh, right. Uh, the the other one is how long the filters last. I'm still using the filter I started with three months ago. Okay. And several other people who have had the hour shower are still on their first filter as well. And we've noticed no uh, uh, restriction in the filter yet. That's and awesome. So, uh, the, uh, the last part was just about the, uh, about the soap in the water. And you, it, it requires that you use Epsom salt. Now Epsom salt uh, is magnesium, magnesium sulfate. And magnesium uh, binds to the salt in the soap so that the filter can then re uh, capture that soap. And, and so, it, so what comes out, it's the, just shower, water. the shower nozzle, is unsoapy water. Well, I told you I had something interesting to show you. This is a game changer. But uh, for more information on it, just go to David's YouTube, Gone Boondocking. I can't thank you enough. You're very welcome, Ken. Very welcome. If there's any more problems you want to solve for the RV community, feel free. Well, I'm working on them. There's several <laughs> other ideas I've got going on. Good deal, good deal. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, but like all videos, they've got to end. And I'm going to end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.